Mmm. That is frothy and that is delish. Love it. <laughs> Just made some breakfast, a nice little omelet with my usual avocado. It has been such an eventful day. It's barely like 1 p.m., but like all day I've been running around. Um, so I took Mark to the airport this morning at 4.30 in the morning, went to the gym, and on my way home, tell me why, my car just decided to stop working, and I was like, okay. <laughs> no, I was actually, I was actually like really freaking out because I'm driving home and then when I was turning the like the wheel just locked and stopped working and then my car started overheating and then everything started beeping and I was freaking out and I was like I don't know what's happening um so I called my boyfriend but of course he was out of town and then I called my dad and my dad came and now he's outside fixing it we'll go visit him right now but also, our internet doesn't work, and so they were like, you need to be home from like 8 to 12 because someone's going to come, but it's already, they barely, they literally just left. And so I had to cancel like my voice lesson, I had to cancel my eyebrow appointment, and just, just the morning, guys. Good morning. <laughs> but it's all good now. Hopefully my dad can fix my car. If not, I'm going to take it to my friend's work and she works at a dealership, so hopefully we'll take get that taken care of. Quick update on my car. So we weren't able to completely fix it, but thank goodness my dad knows a guy and I just have to go pick up a part later and then they're gonna come back tomorrow in the morning. So probably save me a couple of hundred dollars and I just have to pay for the part and for my friend, my guy, my dad's friend. I don't know, you know, every dad has a guy. Like, I feel like, I don't know if that's just like a Mexican thing or a Latino thing, but I feel like every dad, they have a guy, they have a guy. But I just finished recording some vocals that I had to get done today um, for a song that I'm working on with a producer in New York. And I'm sending these files now and then I'm gonna make some dinner. And luckily I have a ride to my gig tonight, so. That should be fun. So I have about two hours before I have to leave and go pick up the part. This is the fit. It's been such a hectic day. I don't, I don't even know. morning guys this morning I woke up was so motivated to go to the gym and get my leg workout in and on my way to the gym my car breaks down or it starts like the steering wheel locked it starts like beeping making noises I was like freaking out I was like I thought we got this fixed so on Saturday the mechanic came and he had fixed it and so I thought it was good to go yesterday I was driving around yesterday I was driving around all over the place like no problem and then today kaput Kaput. So I came back to my house. I got my boyfriend's truck. I took it to the gym because I didn't want to miss my leg day. And I had already taken a pre workout. So I was like, we're working out right now. Like, I can't, I can't, I can't. So went to the gym, got back, and now waiting for the mechanic to come again. I just want to get a new car at this point. That's kind of my vibe. <laughs> I'm like, I don't want to fix it. I just want a new car immediately. But got something exciting in the mail. This actually came here on Saturday, but I haven't had a chance to even like think about it and open it. It's a base. I did a little damage. I might have ordered a new suitcase because going to New York at the end of the month for sure. And I know I want to check in the bag and I know we're going to do some shopping. So I was like, I'm going to need a bigger suitcase for sure. And I just love base. So let's unbox it. This out. I'm gonna cut myself for sure, like a hundred percent. I'm so bad with opening boxes. No wonder. My butt already hurts from legs. This thing is huge. We all got baggage. Glad it's base. <laughs> Oh snap. 
Alrighty, finally found a better angle for the camera so you can properly see. Got it out of the giant box. It had like a whole cover on it. I love it. I mean, this is the 29 inch roller. I do have the carry on and there's a medium one, but I figured I might as well just go big or go home, right? So it has, you know, the lock on the side, which is really nice. And then the expander. So if you need to make it bigger, it will get even bigger has you know the handles with the cushion on the handle and then this little guy right here so you can like hang a bag if you need to do that and then let's open her up oh that's the expander whoops so we here we have the full thing open you have this side with two compartments and it does come with two little kind of dust bags to, for like dirty clothes. Oh, dirt bag. <laughs> and you know, just anything you want to fill it up with. This one says not basic, which is cute. I love how big these are. That's like really nice. And then this opens up and you have a bunch of space. Usually I put like my shoes and cosmetic stuff, hair curlers on this side, and then I'll usually pack my clothes on the other side. And then on this side, you have um, this nice little compartment, which also detaches if you don't want to use it, but it just has the zip up. I'll put like underwear, socks, bathing suits, and then sometimes I'll put dirty clothes on this side, but you can put other stuff on that side. And then it, you have the two straps to hold in your clothes, which I find is super, super helpful. Um, I always like to tighten it up so it keeps everything in place. And then you have like another little compartment there for other little necessities. But overall, this thing is pretty big. Um, I love it so, so much. Just so you can see for reference, probably need to make this taller, but it comes up to like my mid thigh. Um, definitely would have to check this in 100%, but good for like a long haul trip, I would say, for sure. I'm totally obsessed. I can't wait to travel with this and I will link it down below. This one I actually got from Revolve because sometimes they have sales and you can get a few, like maybe 20% off. Um, but they always, of course, have it on the base website. I love it so, so much. I can't wait to travel with it. So if you guys have any questions, feel free to comment down below and let me know. I do have a how I pack my carry-on video if you guys wanna check that out. Um, and I will probably do a how I pack, you know, for this bag when I go to New York at the end of the month. So I'm very excited. I'm so excited. I love you, base. <laughs> I just love base products overall. Like I have the carry-on, the weekender bag, the backpack. I have like a little clutch. I want to order the makeup cosmetics bag as well because I think it's just so cute. And I love the color. Like I'm obsessed, obsessed. So hope this helps, guys. <laughs> Heading to yoga, but I'm currently stuck in traffic. And I'm already running late, so who knows if we'll make it. I might just have to go all the way around and see if that's a better direction. But today is Saturday, and I sang last night. It was pretty chill. And today I'm going to go to yoga, hopefully if I ever make it. Do a quick little workout and then go get our nails done. And today is my friend's surprise party. Oh, traffic is going. Oh, I'm going. Oh. Okay, back home from running a bunch of errands, went to yoga, went to brunch, got my toenails done, and now finally back home, opening these windows. I need to get ready because I'm going to a surprise party, but I got a package from Shoe Dazzle, so I thought I'd show you guys some of the shoes that I got. They're so cute, I'm so excited. So we have some shoes. I did open them yesterday because they accidentally sent them to my parents' house. So these are the first pair. These are so cute. A nice little platform with a fun little rhinestone moment. I just picture vacay, 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 shun, <laughs> pool hangs. Super cute. 
I got these white hair, chunky, strappy shoes. Of course, they're so freaking cute and they have kind of like that croc detail on them. So adorable. You can never go wrong with a white shoe. Oh, I got some colorful shoes because I always go for the neutral. I wanted to get a colorful pair because I always go neutral and these are so fun. And I don't have any orange shoes, so I thought they'd be fun to try out. Who knows how comfortable this heel will be, but they are so freaking cute. Okay, and then the last pair are these fun wedges. They have like clear straps. Again, perfect for spring going into summer. I feel like these never go out of style. They are really high, but just how I like them. And we also went to Home Goods slash TJ Maxx, and I picked up this cute little purse. So cute, it's from Aldo, but obviously I got it at Home Goods, and I just, I love a mini bag. I think it's so adorable. And I also got some CC cream from Supergoop. I haven't tried it yet, so I'm excited to see how that is. And then the rest of the stuff I got is a gift from my friend for her birthday. And I just got a package from Abercrombie. I was trying to see if there's like an easy way to open this, but these are the 90s relaxed jeans in brown, which I'm just sh so shocked that they're barely coming out with the brown. Oh, this is fun, cute. I'm excited. I always get them in a size 25. These are the Curve Love, of, and I've never gotten any of the Curve Love, so we'll see how they fit on me, but super cute, super into brown as you can see that I'm wearing brown. So weird because it was snowing this morning and now it's blue clear skies. That's Texas for you, Texas weather. Just, you never know what you're gonna get. So I'm about to head to my parents' house because my mom just had surgery. So I'm just gonna go say hi. And they accidentally sent some packages to their house. So I got to pick those up. And I'm going to an art gallery and then I'm singing tonight. So I wanted to show you guys what I found at the thrift store today. It is so freaking cute. Don't mind my room, it's a mess. It's a mess. These pants are from Etiquette. Etiquette? I don't know, I've like seen them all over TikTok, but I found them and they were $11 and they're the perfect like flare pant. And I don't know, it's kind of chilly out, so I'm just like wearing this giant coat because I'm like gonna wear it tonight. But maybe I'll just wear like a blazer or something or like a leather jacket. But this is definitely going to be the fit for tonight and then I'm going to wear heels. So just like so that I can be kind of, um, I just want to be ready for anything. You know what I mean? I also found these shoes at Nordstrom Rack and you're going to die. So I have returned a pair of like Steve Madden ones, like very similar. And then I found these, like these Jeffrey Campbell, super cute. I love this detail and I've been looking for like the perfect short heel but also have that like thick wrap detail strap i don't know what it's called but it's so freaking cute i'm i'm obsessed <laughs> last thing i'll show you before i leave is these pants oh my god these zebra pants i'll probably wear these tomorrow my friend is gonna have a surprise party but she's in way yet but probably by the time this is out it'll be in one of the vlogs but we're gonna do a surprise party for her birthday tomorrow, so I'm gonna probably wear this and then I have to sing at night, but I need to go. But yes, I'm gonna go drive to my parents' house and enjoy Friday. I've been shopping way too much, but never a bad thing. <laughs>